Welcome to a Minnesota Pollution Control Agency video tutorial for the new online electronic DMR reporting system. In this video we will provide a general overview of the layout or formatting of the new electronic services system as well as walk through a DMR submittal for a given monitoring period. On the EE services login page the user will first enter in their user ID and then their password and click the login button located in the middle of the page. Once logged in, the user will be directed to the My Workspace page. From the Service Selection category, click on the Discharge Monitoring Report hyperlink. Next, a user will be required to make a facility selection. Select the appropriate facility by clicking the radio button in the Select column. Click Continue once the appropriate facility has been selected. Next, the user will be required to make the appropriate DMR permit selection. Note that the effective dates listed will allow the user or permittee to manage DMRs within that time period. Once the appropriate DMR permit has been selected, click the Continue button. You have now accessed the Manage DMR Services screen. The Manage DMR Services screen is made up of five sections and this screen is where a user will perform all of their sample values and DMR submittals. The first section within the Manage DMR Services screen is the Available Sample Values Spreadsheet section. Within this section, permittees will be able to download a sample values or operational spreadsheet as well as submit a sample values or operational spreadsheet for a given monitoring period. To perform a download and or submittal action, the user will click on the icon located in the column for the action they wish to complete for a given monitoring period. Users can navigate between monitoring periods within the available sample values spreadsheet section by utilizing the drop down menu, selecting a date, and then clicking the filter grid button, or by using the arrows or number links located both at the top and at the bottom of this section. The second section within the Manage DMR Services screen is the Available DMR section. Within this section, users will submit DMRs either by downloading a blank DMR spreadsheet or downloading a calculated or auto-populated DMR spreadsheet and then uploading that DMR spreadsheet or by using the DMR online entry option. To perform a download and or submittal action, the user will click on the icon located in the column for the action they wish to complete for a given monitoring period. To locate a specific DMR within the available DMRs section, users can use the drop down menu, select a date, and then click the filter grid button, or they can navigate by the arrows or number links located both at the top and at the bottom of this section. One final note, to utilize the downloaded calculated DMR spreadsheet, a sample values spreadsheet must be submitted prior to downloading that calculated spreadsheet. The third section within the Manage DMR Services screen is the In Progress DMR section. DMRs that have started but not formally finished the submittal or entry process will be located in this section. To continue or finish a DMR submittal, click the appropriate icon in the Continue DMR column. Note red text is an indicator that the submittal or DMR is overdue or late. The fourth section within the Manage DMR Services screen is the Submitted Sample Values Spreadsheet section. Within this section, users will be able to identify a submittal date for a given sample values or operational spreadsheet. A user will be able to download a copy of the previously submitted sample values or operational spreadsheet. And finally, the user will be able to resubmit or amend a previously submitted sample values or operational spreadsheet. 
to perform a download or a resubmittal or amendment action, the user will click the icon located in the column for the action they wish to complete for a given monitoring period. To find a specific sample values or operational spreadsheet that has been previously submitted, users can use the drop-down box, select a date, and then click the filter grid button, or they can navigate by the arrows or number links located both at the top and at the bottom of this section. The fifth and final section within the Manage DMR Services screen is the Submitted DMR section. Within this section, users will be able to identify a submittal date for a given DMR. They will be able to obtain a copy of the record in PDF file format. and They will be able to download a submitted DMR spreadsheet. Additionally, users will be able to make amendments within the Resubmit DMR spreadsheet column or within the Amend DMR Online column. To perform a download and or resubmittal or amendment action, the user will click the icon located in the column for the action they wish to complete for a given monitoring period. Before we walk through a sample values and DMR submittal, let's take a moment to review sample values. Sample values is a submittal that took place of the supplemental report form submittal for discharge monitoring reporting. There are two sample value spreadsheet options, the sample value spreadsheet and the operational spreadsheet. The main difference between the two spreadsheets is the formatting or layout of the spreadsheet. Permittees will have to decide which spreadsheet to use. Only one spreadsheet is required to be submitted with a DMR for a given monitoring period. Here's an example of a sample value spreadsheet. Sample value spreadsheets are formatted in a vertical orientation. This means the user will scroll up and down the spreadsheet to locate parameters and populate applicable data fields. Note the parameters highlighted in column C are in alphabetical order as the user scrolls down the spreadsheet. All of a user's monitoring stations are located in the bottom left corner of the spreadsheet. To switch between monitoring stations, click on the station tab you wish to complete. Again, all parameters in, in column C are in alphabetical order as the user scrolls down the spreadsheet. Here's an example of an operational spreadsheet. Operational spreadsheets are formatted in a horizontal orientation. This means a user will scroll left to right to locate parameters and populate applicable data fields. All of a user's monitoring stations are located in the bottom left corner of the spreadsheet. To switch between monitoring stations, click on the station tab you wish to complete. Note, parameters are highlighted in row 3 and will be in alphabetical order as a user scrolls from left to right. We will now walk through a sample values and DMR submittal for a given monitoring period. Within the Manage DMR Services screen, download either a sample values or operational spreadsheet for a given monitoring period. In this example, we will download a sample values spreadsheet by clicking the icon in the Download Sample Values Spreadsheet column. Next, the user will be prompted to perform a Save As function. Save the sample values spreadsheet to a location on your computer for future data entry and submittal. Here is an example of a populated or completed sample values spreadsheet. Be sure to check the sample values spreadsheet data for accuracy on each monitoring station. Next we will submit the sample values spreadsheet. Depending on which spreadsheet you use, you will click the icon in the appropriate action column. In our example, we downloaded a sample values spreadsheet, so we will submit the sample value spreadsheet by clicking the icon in the submit sample values spreadsheet column. Next a permittee will browse to locate the previously downloaded and completed sample value spreadsheet and click continue on the right side of the page. After clicking continue you will be diverted back to the manage DMR services screen or you will receive an error message. If you receive the error message 
Click on the report link to identify specific errors within your sample values a spreadsheet. Within the available sample values a spreadsheet section, note that the October 2017 sample values spreadsheet is no longer available. This is one indicator that the sample values a spreadsheet has been received by the system. Additionally, you can scroll down to the submitted a sample values a spreadsheet section and locate the October spreadsheet to determine if it has been submitted. After submitting the sample values of spreadsheet, locate the corresponding DMR within the available DMRs section. As previously stated, you can navigate between discharge monitoring reports or locate discharge monitoring reports by utilizing the arrows or number links located both at the top and the bottom of this section. An alternative is to use the drop-down window. When utilizing the drop-down window, select the appropriate date and then click the Filter Grid button. Your DMR should then show up within this section. Once the appropriate DMR has been identified, a user will use one of three options for DMR submittal. The Download Blank DMR Spreadsheet option, the Download Calculated DMR Spreadsheet option, and the DMR Online Entry option. In our example, we will utilize the Calculator tool by clicking the icon in the Download Calculated DMR Spreadsheet column. A user will then be prompted to save the Calculated DMR Spreadsheet. Perform a Save As function and save the calculated DMR spreadsheet to a location for future submittal. Open the calculated DMR spreadsheet file and check each monitoring station for data accuracy. Additionally, indicate as appropriate in the No Discharge data field. Next, the user will upload the previously downloaded calculated DMR spreadsheet by clicking the icon in the Upload DMR Spreadsheet column. The user will then locate the completed DMR spreadsheet for uploading into the eServices system by clicking the Browse button and locating the saved file from their computer and clicking the Continue button. This is where the eService system will be validating their DMR submittal. Next, the user will be directed to the Attachment screen. Within the Attachment Type column, there are a variety of reports that can be attached with a given DMR submittal. To attach the report, upload the file within the upload file name column and click the appropriate browse button to attach that file. Additionally there is a drop down box with additional reports that can be attached with the DMR submittal. In our example no additional reports will be attached so we will click the continue button. Finally the user will be brought to the certification page. If you do not have signatory access, you will click the Send Notifications button. This will notify a fellow employee who does have the water quality signatory access that the DMR is awaiting certification. If you do have water quality signatory access, click the blue ribbon in the Sign Electronically column. On the electronic signature page, the user will first be prompted to answer the response to their challenge question and click the submit button. Next, the user will then be prompted to enter their electronic signature pin and click the sign electronically button. To finalize the DMR certification, click the Continue button. After clicking the Continue button, the user will be directed back to the Manage DMR Services screen. 
Additionally, an email will be sent to the user's account notifying them that the DMR has been received by the MPCA. Another option to confirm that the DMR has been received by the MPCA is to scroll down to the Submitted DMRs section and locate the DMR that has been submitted. If you have questions on any aspect of the submittal process, please contact your compliance staff in your region. Thank you for watching the video, and a big thanks to John Thomas for making the video possible.